Hello, everybody, and welcome to take two of us going over this movie. Good thing we didn't get halfway through and stuff. Oh, thank God, because I got to tell you, if you're watching this, you're a wrestling fan, and you know that means you wade through the real barrel water trough of media and i feel that the movie bad guys is going to be is going to be mud that's not from dirt you okay. know what i'm saying oh it's I, I, who knows what's going to be there's wrestling involved a friend sent this to me and said have you ever seen bad guys and i like to think i've seen all of them including the other movie we do grunt i've seen that one before but i, I don't even remember it uh, body slam i tried to get but i i, I couldn't find it online yeah. have you ever seen body slam i is Body Slam the one with Jesse Ventura? No, and Roddy Piper? No, that's... No, no, no. Body Slam's the one with... Um, Lou Albano's in it for a second, but his name's Captain Lou Marengo. And... <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of this recently, and, like, Wendy... Ted Moolah's in it? I don't know. Yeah, like, they're at ringside. And then also, um, uh, Hannibal from the A-Team is in it. And he is... Uh, George Papard? Harry Smilak is his name. And Roddy Piper's in it also. Of course. So, we, but why are we talking about a movie we've never seen? Let's talk about a movie that we're going to watch. It's called Bad Guys. We know nothing about it. Except and that there's bad guys in there, it. There's, I, I, I assume Razor Ramon rears his ugly head at some point. This is before his time. Fuck. He, he was... Uh, He'd be Big Scott Hall if it was before his time. I was going to make a, um, a murdering per- people joke <laughs> in Florida, but I'm you not... You can, you can. I'm not going... Right, it's only for... This isn't... I mean, yeah. unless you guys bootleg this, but please don't. Do not don't. bootleg this, hey, please. You paid, a, you paid a note. You put a note in a bucket. This is for you. Yeah. So don't share it around unless they give you notes. Yeah. We're going to need a kickback, of course. Please, please. For them to see this. So I feel that you should be free to make all of the murdering a guy in front of a strip club in a story <laughs> that really doesn't make any sense. He had a gun, and I knew a girl, and then the gun dropped, and then I shot him. Mm. That... Sounds like he just murdered a guy. No, let's not talk about it. He's, good, he's a nice guy. Of course he is. They're all nice guys. <laughs> uh, should we watch Body Slam? No. Uh, take, no, we shouldn't. We should watch two. Bad Guys. Should we watch Bad Guys? Take three on take two. All right. Let's watch Bad Guys. Oh, the galaxy. Nice zoom in on the... Tomorrow Entertainment. Is this E.T.? Oh, I'm just watching T-E. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, a fellow tribesman. Mm-hmm. Joel Silberg also produced porn. I believe that they're traveling uh, southbound on Normandy uh, right now, if I had to guess where that street is. In California? In Los Angeles, California. Adam Baldwin, an unknown Baldwin brother. <laughs> he was euthanized after this production. Mike Jolly, uh, that was a joke name. He's actually one of the rudest people on set. That's also a great wrestling name. Say Michelle that one. De Castro. Ooh, nice. <laughs> How was that difficult? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the 80s when you knew who the main character was because they'd have some funny decal on their car. For example, the headlights at the top of his truck. Smiley faces. Smiley faces. Yes. Ruth Buzzy. She did something else. You know Ruth Buzzy? I know the name. Don't you know the name? I know her from like, watching old clips of show business like Johnny Carter and like, oh, and uh, she had a vagina like Ruth Buzzy. <laughs> Oh, maybe this is chips and we don't know. Oh, I hope it's chips. This guy looks like he's delivering pizzas. In a truck, though? Look how smiley he is. Immediately, by the way, just running from the police. Sergeant uh, Slaughter's in it! Uh, yes! <laughs> he's running Oh, my God. Now, this is, for wrestling uh, context, this is post-WWF Sergeant Slaughter when he's living off G.I. Joe money, so mm. I feel like he wanted to take his kids to Disneyland, and so he just took this movie. What are we? What is happening? Dang, he made it. Why would he say dang, he made it? They just went over a hill. Don't forget about Alan Rich <laughs> as Luigi Constantine. I like that they, the guy with the simplest actor name got the most complicated character name. All right, Terminator Two or T One Thousand is really chasing after low rent nerd from the Breakfast Club whose name I can't remember right now. Yeah, he's playing a bad guy, but he he looks like a sweetheart. Yeah, well, that's why you know he's a bad guy. He deceives you. Why wouldn't you just be pulled over by the that car? That guy almost got murdered. Yeah. All right, step out of the car, sir. You know you're doing that's illegal, by the way. You, ha- you have to stop for a cop. <laughs> yeah. But we're late. We are? Let's go. Oh, they're friends. It was a gag the whole time. Because of wrestling. wrestling. <laughs> of course, wrestling fans are often late. That's what they say about it. That's Les Thatcher right there. Is that really Les I Thatcher? Don't know. Look how old these guys are. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Who is the really old hardcore wrestler that's still wrestling? Gypsy Joe, even though is he's Gypsy dead. Gypsy Joe, gonna, is he now dead? <laughs> oh, my God. oh, my God. Is that Nick Nolte? That is. I think that is Nick Nolte. Uncredited Nick Nolte. 
I don't know why I called him Mick Nolte. Yeah, I heard that, too. Yeah, it's Nick Dude, Nolte. Dude, this guy is so old. I think that's George Hackenschmidt. Look at his old balls. <laughs> Look at his old thighs. Look how old that guy is. That guy's actually reading the ring announcements in hieroglyphs. Okay, that nipple is exposed and it's doing I'm so I knew I was about to bring up. I'm like, how are you feeling about the ring attire? No. I mean, already I'm very intrigued by this. Ooh, he's athletic. That's my least favorite kind of singlet. I like a T in the back. I don't like the double, just the same on each side. I agree. I don't like that because it looks like a bathing suit. Yes. And I also think, oh, you know that these guys are bad. They had capes. This is classic 80s way of knowing that they're bad. They have capes and there's black and red. Bad guys. Also, it seems to be a handicap match. Yeah, I don't know where this yeah. guy's partner is. Oh, I feel that, like that's the love interest. She's a babe. She is a babe. Also, I don't want to besmirch wrestling fans. I've never seen a wrestling fan dressed in a cardigan. I've seen, you've seen more wrestling fans it's than It's a hipster wrestling. Okay, hipster wrestling. But I mean, I can't believe that the producer of this movie also directed it. I missed that. Yeah, Joel Silberg both produced and directed, and I have a feeling probably had a hand in the writing <laughs> and may have also received some inheritance right before the production of this film. It is one of the wrestlers. I don't understand how this is a, a handicap match. Yeah, I don't understand why those oh. guys look uh, capable. Also, how quickly did he get changed? He was in different <laughs> clothes. That was a pretty really good bump. That was a very good double clothesline. I'll agree with that. He did get changed very quickly. Also, but is is his manager also a cop? If he wants a handicap match, whoa, he did the Andre spot. It's a young Paul Heyman taking pictures right there. <laughs> yes, the, the police officer is the genetic copy of Jim Cornette and Paul Heyman merged together, which is why he has frosted tips and a bad attitude. How'd you feel about that drop kick? I thought it was all right. Failed stomp. I don't know about this technique. I'm so confused like because it. this guy's the actor, but he seems good at wrestling. He may, Maybe he's a wrestler. But he's not going to be a lead actor, is he? He might. Also, actors can learn how to wrestle. No, it takes a long time. I learned how to wrestle for the wrestling in Edinburgh, and may I say, I didn't do a great job. Correct. No, I'll <laughs> say that also. <laughs> I mean, this guy looks like a legit wrestler, especially the way he hopped over the ropes. What's the biggest indication for you as a pro wrestler? It's just footing. Watch? Footing and ah, timing. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I can tell you within a second if someone's been doing it for a half a second. And it's all in the feet. I mean, what are you doing? Why would you throw the ref out for no... This is my biggest bugaboo of wrestling always, is the needless attacking of the referee. I feel a real policeman from the top row. <laughs> Without a gun or a nightstick. Is he in the match? Is he a wrestler too? Well, he's a stunt guy. You saw him drive that motorcycle. I'm going to say it right now. I think this movie has some plotting issues. <laughs> If he hit, if this is where the F5 came from, I'm gonna shit in the fridge. I, this cop is on cocaine, correct? Yeah. Oh, for that cop is mostly cocaine. She's having a good time. She's having a great time. This All right, acting like he did something. Yeah, and shouldn't be in the match. Dave Atkins. Dave Atkins. Don't let's not forget about the inventor of the Atkins doll. Here. Yeah, he dies of a uh, perforated colon at the end of the movie. <laughs> From too much bacon? Mm, too much beef. Sm small bones pierce the kidneys. Or er, intestines. Kidneys aren't connected to food. So why isn't he going, to, why isn't he going to the merch stand right now? That's my <laughs> you know what? But it's the 80s. Was there a merch stand in Probably the 80s? Not, no. uh, you know, it was time before a young... Colt Cabana went to Mexico to buy wrestling masks to sell at wrestling shows. Did you notice how quickly they went into another match? I did notice that as well. Also, like, what was the extras budget on this movie? Because they've got... Those guys don't look that bad, although that guy looks like the tag team partner from the last match, just now wearing a full... Like a top with the same trunks. Hold on, we're missing some plot. She's a manager! She's a wrestling manager! okay? We like being cops, okay? I wrestle to stay in shape. Skip here comes along for the ride. Yeah, I love wrestling. Oh, yeah, I love wrestling. Fighting cops. What a great Ooh, she sounds like a reporter. Oh, I could 
She's the real April O'Neil of this film. Okay, so to break, just so you know, they're now cops that they wrestle to stay in shape. I feel like this is going to have a real Beverly Hills cop twist. Why would you not marry that woman? How are you, is it, do you think that the nipple is putting him off? He's aware that it's showing nipple and he's very, he's very, he's very uncomfortable right now. How angry do you get when your nipple is exposed in the ring? I Sometimes I'll make a joke out of it. I'll go like this like, really funnily and everyone will laugh. Because <laughs> they know how weird I feel. Wow. I hope that's not the only wrestling in the show. I mean, it can't be. They're bad guy. It's called the bad guy. Sergeant Slaughter's in it. They're not going to get Sergeant oh. Slaughter and have him play a drug dealer. <laughs> I cannot wait for the Sarge to come. Or, or he's their sergeant at the LAPD. Mm. Oh, I hope that's what hey, it Dave. is. Hi. Hi. Another babe. Who's this babe? We won. <laughs> yeah, we won. Thanks to me. Uh, but they didn't win. You weren't in the match. You were on the floor, not on the apron. It was like they did the worst version of the Freebird rule. Yeah, once you get over to Fountain Western, that little disturbance at the pit bull. Pit bull. Pitbull 1 and 2 from ECW. Oh my god, yeah, they've broken people's necks in a speed-related fight. So these guys are definitely wrestlers hired. They're just giving all their wrestler friends gigs. I think think that... I wouldn't be surprised if that blonde guy is Dr. D. David Schultz, and that he didn't know this was a movie, and he just started a fight. (laughs) I thought he was in the Cobra Kai. Oh, imagine the guy from the Cobra Kai and Dave... Why wouldn't they just take one vehicle? Think of the environment, you assholes. If he just imagine he's Stone Cold Sun or someone, bad guys is just the archetype of. Ep- well, well, another bar room but this isn't. That was a great voice. Though. You know, when I was a kid, I thought this is what happens in bars. I have the same thing. I'm still to this day. I was in a bar that didn't look dissimilar to this because every bar in LA looks like this, and I was like, "Oh, there might be a fight," and I was like, "No, there's a guy playing soft acoustic guitar. It's not going to happen." <laughs> Is that Chris Christopherson? Some good audio in this movie. <laughs> Terrible dub. This is how they get their practice. Holy shit. Skip just beat the fuck out of Chris Chris. Oh my god, that's Lars Oliver from Metallica. Yeah, you fucking tell him. Tell him to sit down. Skip, watch out. Oh my god, that was Steve Lombardi. Who's paying for all this damage? I know. Look, <laughs> it's a good move right there. Yeah, smart. We know what you could also do is just reach down right underneath that and turn off the tap. <laughs> There's no, all this free beer. <laughs> but no, but he's the bartender. He's going to oh. save it. I thought he was just getting the free beer. Someone is going to drink from that beer. Like you know that. Yeah, there we go. I knew it. Oh my god, that was John Ritter. He's just finding all the liquor. I can't believe John Ritter is in this movie. So many famous people. Such a well... And John Ritter had a real drinking problem in 86. Again, great. I like that one of the bikers is doing crowd control while his friends are getting beaten up by two cops. got the call. Never a cop around when you need one. Jeez. My God. I can't believe it. They've done it again. I'll have their guts for God's sake. Du- dubbed over terribly. <laughs> this is the original 1 900 909 9900. There's a th- thing of Reagan. Oh. <laughs> Were you alive when Reagan was the president? Sure. I was born in 80. Maybe a promotion. Were you? Yeah. Maybe a medal. Oh, I always think we're the same age, but I also think everyone is my same age. Mm. Look at this. Los Angeles oh. Tribune. Brutal cops beat up local bike club. L.A. Chronicle. Brutal cops may Murphy Green and terrorize bike club. I'm going to say this about the 80s LAPD. No police officers were told that was bad for beating up people innocently. It took another five to six years before Rodney King happened, before there was any yelling. They'd be at a K party right now having beers because they almost put someone in the hospital. If there was... We're only doing our duty, sir. Yeah, that's right. We're just doing our duty, sir. Yeah, we'll go do it someplace else. You're suspended without pay, pending a public inquiry. How are they going to get money? Oh, my God. They'll probably have to become pro wrestlers. Is this going to affect our pensions any? Out! Out! And turn in your guns and badges! 
Did you say turn in your badge? And guns, which you don't have to do if you're suspended. I don't think. They're right. They're not fired. He just broke a candy dish that for no reason was on that bench. That's going to come out of your pay. If you ever get paid again. This guy should be his manager. Oh, my God. That guy would cut a great promo. I feel like this was written by Joel Silberg. So Joel Silberg and Joel Silberg's because every character has the cadence of every wrestler giving a promo in early ECW, which is loud voice, loud voice, unnecessary pause, l- summation, loud voice. Cole Caban is a nice guy, really nice guy. Cole Caban is a nice guy. It's now nighttime. They are they are not at the same place. They are not in the same place. Look at the difference of sky. That's it is dark. It's raining. That's beautiful light. day. <laughs> is uh, John Lovitz? Oh yeah, it's John Lovitz. I was also gonna. Say, I was trying to think of the Manny Fernandez, who was on the first Piper's Pit. Fun fact, by the way, this is the same housing pro- uh, housing build site you see in Lethal Weapon Three. <laughs> This is also where they shot the pile driver <laughs> music video. This was the inspiration for it. Okay. Why are they doing construction when they're great pro wrestlers? Also, how did they get a job in construction <laughs> this quickly? Oh, well, they're they're connected. Is she inviting She's them into gonna, the outhouse? I mean, what's the office? The shows you've never worked on a construction site. No. <laughs> Neither have I, but I've watched The Sopranos. That was an invite. Just try to ignore it. Oh, she's gonna fucking pump. Never has this happened in the history of the world, by the way. Is a woman sees you know voices are saying she goes to a window and then gets out her Schnavitzes. Has this ever happened to you? No. There we go. Like what? Just bra out on a construction site. This is what I thought grown ups was gonna be like what grown up life was gonna be when I was. Oh yeah, just fights in bars and tits all the time. Help. Yeah, you tell him. I can't figure out who that guy's supposed to be. Oscar from The Office, maybe? <laughs> yes, where Big Mouth was. They're fucking in your office loudly. I can, I'm i praying that we get to watch them fuck. Why, why did he push him out of the way when he could have just walked around him? Is he getting involved? That would be such a great twist. Is, this movie just has a 10 minute guy, guy, girl fuck scene. I love this point we didn't get to see tits right there. In the 80s, movies were PG, rated PG and you saw tits. Very shocking. Revenge of the Nerds. What's even more shocking is these people have lost three jobs in 15 <laughs> minutes of a movie. I mean, you just can't do this in this economy. What? Why? He almost fell out of the truck. Getting this much trouble for banging a girl who obviously wants to get paid. Again, not on a on a construction site. The workman would have just walked in, and Jada. What in the name of God? <laughs> oh, Joel Silverberg, you're at it again. Yeah, Joel hey, Silver really likes a jumped life. truck. I think we're fired. Yeah, great. Now what are we gonna do? That's my turn to find us a job. It's gonna be more glamorous than working for that fat old Bud Schultz. I tell you. There was yeah, no one fat on that construction on. site. Trust me. I mean, how good are these guys at getting jobs <laughs> of a disparating nature, right? Why don't you, just, why don't you work on Wall Street? <laughs> Did you hear his reason for not liking being a male stripper? He feels like a sissy. He feels like a sissy. Oh, you know male strippers, strippers are just jumping jacks. Yeah. Are they doing a TRX class? Have you ever been to a male strip club? No. I have. Craziest thing about it. I didn't see this, but a friend of mine saw it. I don't know, strip club. Hold which, on, they're doing wrestling. <laughs> okay, go on. Is it's just a guy came out with a g-string, took the g-string off, and then ladies lay on the stage and just dipped his dick <laughs> in their mouths, like he was refueling them. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna see this, but I do like that they're playing Soul Man. How'd they get the rights to Soul? No, it's not Soul Man. It just sounds like Soul Man. Oh no, it is Soul Man. I'm correct. Thank you. Is every scene of this movie them just doing things together and then the blonde one fucks a chick? Let's hope. Yeah. (laughs) 
there was no thought that went into this scene at all. Like, <laughs> you think they would have went to a, a male uh, strip club and like seen what they do, right? Even at a female strip club, you could figure out what you need to do. Oh, that's their championship title. Ah, uh, yes. That's the that was the championship belt in communist Russia. <laughs> read. Communist Russia wrestlers act you. <laughs> There's a comedian named Yakov Smirnov who was popular in the 80s. Oh, did they not know that? They wouldn't know who Yakov yeah, Smirnov yeah, yeah. is. And you have watched the Yakov Smirnov commercial for Branson, Missouri? Uh, no, after this I will. No. But this is just a wrestling outfit right now. Do you think they gave that away every single night? They'd be spending thousands of No, material. you don't. You, I, If I recall a friend of mine, you throw it towards the bouncer and they pick it up. Oh, that blonde woman's evil. For sure she's a bad guy. Or Joel Silberg's... Uh, what what is that? Who's that old man? She was running for that crap? She wanted that cock, bruh. I feel that's the same thing that happened to Bret Hart during his uh, Hall of Fame speech. Are you saying that the guy was just a big fan of the movie Bad Guys? Yeah, and he, was, he just wanted Bret Hart's penis. I mean, we all would like to see a penis that actually is smoking, but I feel it would be... Do they all bring lollipops? I hate the lollipop as a candy, and I've never understood. I've never understood, like, girl licking ice cream. Ooh, it's like a cock. Lollipop like a cock. Well, it's where you and I differ. I mean, who the fuck is this? Is that the Grand Wizard? Another big pet peeve I have, which is the fake collar underneath the bow tie just wear the bow tie the fake color makes it look ludicrous if you're not wearing them the fake tearaway shirt yeah, I, I think it's just big so that people understand it that's something that I said to Colt actually right before we started recording you can't tell it but I'm I'm full dick and balls out right now. I was like, why not do this pant list? Yeah, I just... I don't know how you guys rate movies, but it's the amount of times I get turgid. Thus far, we are continuously hard. Yeah, thank you. You do need to look close. It's mostly in my body. Oh, no, his truck's on fire. But the smiley face is on top. Yeah. This is my ring. Here's the papers. What papers? It's legal, pal. Filed in the courts. Rigs being repoed for non-payment. Oh, that's a bunch of bull. Look at that garbage. Do you know anyone who doesn't do pay their bills the way characters in movies Police don't pay their bills? Quit making payments. The and we both... I mean, I pay my bills on time. As do I. But we both operate in pretty um, irresponsible sure. circles. Sure. And... Even them, I'm like, I don't know any of them that are behind on a car payment. I know some of them that are behind on child payments, but not car payment. Important things. They've got their priorities in lockstep. They were policemen. They were sheriffs, technically. It's a different department, so couldn't really interact. Oh, cab in L.A.? Might as well fucking walk, homeboy. <laughs> you can use that. <gasps> Did we give you two gorgeous guys a lift anywhere? Well, sure. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Dave. Oh, boy. Dave. Yeah. Again, this is him getting laid. I mean, it's literally a repeat of the last scene. Also, why in the name of God is the blonde woman in the back seat already? Great question. Oh, boy. She's If we were ever chaperone. driving somewhere and you got in the back seat and not the front this seat. This is the original Uber right here. <laughs> it was just two milfs cruising around what looks to be Thai town. You're the two cutest guys we've seen in a long time. I mean, based on your voice, madam, the cigarettes have ca cursed you to have very poor vision. I mean, can't hate on this. That old, that old blonde woman has been in porn. She did the cock look down, like only porn stars do. They became prostitutes. No, they're sugar mommies. Just go with it. Really what's the old? What's the biggest age difference between you and a woman where the woman is older than you? Mm, we'll discuss this afterwards. 
<laughs> could, you. could she ride a bus for free? Let's we'll discuss this. Yeah! Get home, please. Just take us home. I gotta say, this movie has really not aged well in the uh, in the post Me Too world. It doesn't feel right, huh? No, I mean, it just doesn't feel right. We got Judy C.K. and uh, <laughs> and Harmony Weinstein trying to fucking force consent with our two heroes. Is this car still moving? They happen to just so drop him off at their house. Of course. And now she gets in the front seat. I mean, what's crazy is they somehow ended up on the top of Griffith Park, from the looks of it. I love how you've lived in L.A. for three months, and now you're a fucking... It's so small. It's, you don't... You go to five places. And it's the same places that they always fill. It's in the way that if you look... You lived in Chicago, you've lived in Chicago your whole life, but you can always pick out... There's certain things sure. that identify. They're clearly on a set, by the way, but they're trying to imply that they just drop them off in the middle of nowhere. Just geographically speaking, that would be impossible. <gasps> oh, they're becoming wrestlers. Commercial break. <laughs> they thought this was going to be a TV show. <laughs> oh, you know she's a manager because for no reason she has a night. Or oh, is this their apartment? Where's we'll find out. Wait, she just has a bunch of wrestlers? Oh, that's them. That's them. I thought this was like a... I, by the way, there was a brief time where I did think the coolest thing was just a weight set on a porch. Like, just like, that's how you know you got yourself a cool pad. Could we go inside? I think we should get down to business, okay? Just pump iron. Yeah. Sit down. What's weird is, oh, I actually see this movie, he bludgeons her with the uh, the weight, and it just becomes a chase scene throughout the southwest of these two guys trying to run from the sheriff who has their truck. called the Kremlin Crushers. <gasps> Russians? Yeah. <laughs> well, it pays 250 bucks. 250 in the 80s? No, that's together. Okay. Okay, what's um, more unrealistic is that there's a manager booking this and not a cigar chomping man in some sort of bingo hall, I assume, being like, you two boys, would you like to make $80 in a sandwich? Because I know this wasn't when you were wrestling, but I never heard that there's a manager or agent type person taking it's a movie. I know, but maybe a bit of realism? With pleasure. What I like is in no way does that look like the last place they just wrestled. <laughs> There's Jeff Ross in the back. <laughs> oh my god. That man looks like the word cricket if it was a person. Can't afford car payments, can't afford gold robes. I mean, get your fucking priorities straight. How did you feel about that ring, that rope jump? Uh, the, guy, the second guy did it better. He had the technique. But he, oh, wait, maybe he's not a wrestler. He didn't hit the ropes that well. This thing comes, eh? Where's Paul F. Tompkins? <laughs> oh, no. Are these wrestlers? A hundred percent. Yeah. Those are the Dukes. What are, who are the Dukes? That's who those are? From Montreal. Yeah, they... It is weird. Yeah, Montreal people do have a look to them. Oh, those are Canadian chests as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess that's us. Uh, I'm Skip. This here's Dave. Uh, we Kremlin crushers. <laughs> it's nice to meet you guys. Somebody should take your picture now, because soon you won't look so good. Yeah, soon we're going to put your head where your ass is. I love this quiet break. trash talk. Yeah, I like how also, by the way, the crowd is just politely letting them... Oh. The referee is Jesse Hernandez. <laughs> I know him well, and I still wrestle for him in LA. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. So you could, we could get some info on this movie? Of course. He rents the ring to PWG. No! Yeah. He still runs a promotion called EWF in, in LA. What is it? E He's on everything. EWF. He's also in the Phil Collins versus Ultimate Warrior Two Hearts uh, music video. He's the referee in that. <laughs> What is the EWF down there? No, no, Empire Wrestling Federation. Oh, there we go. America number one, classic 80s sign. I can't believe Jesse Hernandez is this way. How well is he aged that you were Great. He, he looks great. He just looks like that, but a little, like, a little more suntan. And still, still refereeing? Yeah. I mean, I would love... 
There's no way we could call him right now. I could text him, maybe. All right. He won't get back. I just want to know how much he was paid for this movie. Because <laughs> I'm going to say over under is 100 bucks. Sure. How do you feel about wrestling a guy with a hairy back? I feel like that's got to be very uncomfortable. You know, when you're in the ring, it's all part of the art, I feel. How come he's trying to go for the tag, yet they're allowing the two guys in the ring? Again. So why doesn't, the, the, why doesn't Slick just go in there? Whatever. Absolutely. Is. Also, why isn't the ref counting 10? There's a variety of rules violations going on. So, and then why is Jesse now stopping Slick from getting in the ring? What is this, a Midnight Express match? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I did really enjoy that, like that roll around the referee thing. Like if I saw that, he, that's exactly what the guy at the construction site should have done. That's exactly what he should have done. Instead of pushing him out of the way. And then just rolled in right into that woman's yeah. vagina. <laughs> Great drop kicks, I felt. And that I didn't really see. Oh, the crowd's going wild. Well, America's number one. Amer of course America's number one. And they're police officers. Ex police officers. <laughs> Looks like they're going for a, a battering ram. Oh, yeah, Shades of the Bushwhackers. I really enjoyed that. And since they're both bald. Oh, she's got a lot on the stake. Who's this eccentric billionaire? Probably if we were shut up a little, we would have heard her talking to him, but. No, I heard what he said. What'd he say? He, it's, there are, he's a relative of some sort, and he said, I would travel around the world for you, my darling. I think this is getting my down. These guys are 100% wrestlers. I'm still not sure about these two. Wait, you're the winners because of DQ? Why don't they care? They picked him up so easily. Holy shit. Well, maybe that guy owns those guys. Oh. So the managers have it out for each other. Yeah. Oh, my God. Really opening yourself up to a lawsuit, though. Name of the title of the movie. Excuse me. I'm a find them before NBC sees me. Why NBC? Oh, I, that actually would make sense in the context of the year it was. Saturday Night's Made Event. Saturday Night's Made Event. So what do you say? What do you say, huh? He went with the Kremlin Crushers. The Kremlin Crushers? Why? Oh, she was pitching them to him. But That's not hard. They're in the LAPD. And I know exactly <laughs> who's going to do it. I'm going to get terrible Turk McGurk. And I'm Pedal McGurk. Oh my God, is that Ed Gein? I don't know who these people are, but they're straight out of glow. So you want to be bad guy, right? Oh my God. Let's see what you can do. In the ring. You know who that is? Star. No. I know exactly who that is. Dirty fingernails. Deformity. Like, I feel like I should know. Like, it's... He's he's the stu he's the major stuntman for everything. I forgot what his name is. Judo Jean LaBelle. That's who that is. Come on, I'll show you how it's done. Holy fuck! Yeah, that's him. That's na who's named the LaBelle Lock after. Yeah, and also looks like a kind of guy that smells like sweat even when he's out coming out of the shower. He looks like a bushwhacker right there. Yes, he really does. I played some weird G Lo Bell clips on, on the Edinburgh show before. On the Fringe show. Where did he predominantly wrestle? Los Angeles. I mean, he was Los Angeles. Oh, and because he would be a stuntman. And then he got in the movies, yeah. He's like the go to guy. Because he just knows how to not catch on fire when he's on fire? I won that in Madison Square Garden. Oh, you, you're bragging about that? Did, it, did you see what the championship belt was? Yeah, it was a, like a plastic thing with a little half-assed crown on it. 
It looks like something your mom made for when you're do- you're being a Halloween costume as a wrestler. God, I love those ABC attacks. Do you? Yeah, like, I have a fetish for those for sure. Have you ever requested it? No, but I prefer to. <laughs> this goes <girl's> good. <laughs> Look at Jean. This was just like he's just doing whatever he wants. There's no directing happening. Right no. Yeah. He didn't know there was a movie, by the way. <laughs> this is his house, and they just... He forgot there were cameras, and he just beat up two people. We're going to start the first thing tomorrow morning. I'm going to make you two the dirtiest, meanest, low-down son of a bitches that ever... He's got a keg! I've waited 20 years to get even with that Lord Percy Badmington. Well, here's to the Boston bad guys. Boston bad guys? He said boss who bad ties. <laughs> wow. That's the greatest protein drink you could have. <laughs> what would you do this to stay in shape? I can't imagine athletes pre the 90s were so unhealthy. <laughs> so I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say that they, these guys are actors and Gene LaBelle trained them to be wrestlers beforehand. I'm and then also politic to get in the movie in this part. I 100% agree that he was like, I want to be Mickey in this clearly Rocky store. The Claw! A move that I love and wish was brought back. The a gong. ring bell, not a ring bell, a, a gong. ring gong. Again, just a beer as inspiration. Bear wrestling. Got a wrestle of bear, of course. Uh, raspberries, that's important in wrestling. He's very important. Double teaming, great. Oh, he's ripping off his ear. Oh, that's what that is. You don't see that move anymore. Half-ass hip tosses. Time out. How many of those can you do? Three. What do you think? I mean, that's better than my one okay. and a half. <laughs> he also looks like Popeye. He eats a lot of spinach, and he has prevented quite a few sexual assaults. So he's directed them to get them costumes. Yeah. And would you have guessed there would have been a, a homosexual character to play? I mean, this the is the most by the numbers '80s movie ever. I'd like you to meet the. I'm gonna say this: I love Adele's jacket, and I want it very badly. Adele has changed a lot. Over the years. <laughs> Heartbreak really fucking changes a lady. I'll tell you that much for free. How may I help you? Yeah, this Adele got her uh, his heart broken. She he moved to North London. Put on a couple of pounds and really worked on them what pipes. Uh, Adele, I want you to find something that will make these guys look real bad. What these in the name of God? Bad? Why? That's an uh, unnecessary certain, gay people just want to fuck because they're gay mo- moment of the 80s. <laughs> well, we saw hot <laughs> chicks just want to fuck in a construction. That's a very good time, point. So. I actually would what like if they then, if the blonde me. guy, Skip... Then just tagged this guy in the tra- uh, dressing room right now. It's like, oh, he's bisexual, by the way. I would love it. I don't see it happening. Though. No, I don't see it. The only way it could happen is that they, that's how they make them bad, is they're gay now, and that's bad, because it's the 80s. I would assume that he is bisexual in real life. Try that bunny head on while you're at it. Oh, yeah. And that weird Mickey Mouse. Did you see that weird, creepy Mickey Mouse? I think this is where the WWE dressed Adam Rose's rosebuds. It's a reference that's very good. You should have given me. I liked it. Oh, okay. But I was, that was a more like, yeah. Come on, All right. Nailed it. Oh, my God. They're dressed like Demolition. How's this? And the powers of pain God, at the same time. Heaven. Russian oh, Demolition. Very or good. Killer Khan Demolition. We're not going to go out in public dress like Also, this. Hey, they're supposed to be from business. Boston. <laughs> you make an image, you stick with it. Now, come on. You like the scoring in this part? I didn't even notice the beautiful harpsichord in the background. We gotta test if we're scary or not. Yeah. Let's see if we're bad. They look good enough to eat. Just stick to your diet. Cock? Wow. <laughs> see if we get money. Yeah, they're, in t- they're on fucking Santa Monica in Thai Town. Or on Sunset? Where all the hotels are. Back to the wrestling. Are they going to try out the bad boys? Against the Kremlin Crushers? Oh, I love how the Crushers have different 
outfits. Thank God. I can appreciate that as I, well. And I'm sad Jesse Hernandez is not the referee. Although there's fucking Toro uh, Tanaka. Yeah. From uh, The Running Man and Mr. Fuji's old partner. And also, isn't that also, he wasn't he also odd job? Yes. San Bernardino. Don't forget all the dirty, lousy things I touch it. And you won't go far wrong. I mean, we're not that far into this movie for it to already be the climax of them coming back with their new character. One more reason for you guys to prove yourselves. Yeah. We're bad. Where are you, Ben? You're late. So, uh, we don't want to hang around this dump all day. Yeah, where are our dressing rooms? In the toilet. What do you mean a toilet? In the toilet where you belong. Toilet? What are you talking about? Hey, toilet down. These guys put us in the Stay toilet, Dave. Don't We're bad. Yeah. Toilet. We're bad. We shit together. Stinks in here. It is a toilet. Also, their jumpsuits say bad guys. Their jumpsuits say bad guys. I've never wanted. To. Uh, one hour tease if you're listening. Recreate those tracksuits. Weird looking that guy is. Yeah, he has a weird duck face. Yeah, like, a duck. <laughs> like Howard the Duck. <laughs> what the fuck? He just crushed an apple. Danny Hodge is Yeah. So does it in his 80s. Showed my girlfriend a bunch of those videos and she didn't believe me. And of course, in this wrestling promotion, there's a match one second after the final yeah. of another match. It's very much, yeah, it's very much precursor to ECW. How do you know there's a match? There is one now. That's the guy from um, Princess Bride, Inconceivable. No, it is not. It's his dad. It's that guy's dad. It's that guy if he was stung by a lot of bees. <laughs> yes, and of course, 50% of the action right down the middle. Promoters. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> Do all wrestling promoters dress in um, with monocles, monocles and three-piece suits from the 1880s? Yeah. Good. Bud Freeman, who owned the Improv Comedy Clubs, always wore a monocle. Weird. Which you're right there, you're like, oh, you're, you're not a good man. Hey, what those bad guys? Oh, just a couple of. He knew. Nobody to worry your little head about, my friend. Yeah. Okay, but boys. I want to see the bad guys. I want to see the bad guys. Oh, they're not going to watch. No! Lord Crumpet Stuff McGillicuddy just fucked them. I mean, they're not that heavy. 498? Yeah. 250 a shot? Yeah, I'm good. Percy. Murphy Green, what are you doing? From the, the biker gang's back. I'm gonna nail those dirt bags. How does he know they're under masks? Because Chris Christopherson is he's a he learned tracking from the Cherokee tribe. Put his head to a saw a flat rock and he can track a snake. Don't worry, I'll get them jerk bastards off the bill. I mean, your new name is Colt Cabana Colt Jerk Bastard Cabana. I was gonna call them JBs. <laughs> JB the C C C the JB. Mm. How do you feel about this man's hat? Because I know you have a, you have a strict certain type of hat policy, and you, I could feel you not liking that. Of course, hat. but I look at him in general. He's not a real person. I love that they don't. His hat envy. What a command of the English language you do. No way that man is British. No, no. The AWA. I've been asked by the American Wrestling Association to present this. I can't class do it. Now it's your future. I'm not bad. The what the fuck is going on? <laughs> hey, 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 that's, can I look at that? Can I see that? <laughs> hey, this is really nice. They just gave a plat. He's now choking his girlfriend. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Soviets Wait are the bad guys. They just attacked some priests. They really are from Boston. Wow. They also don't like the Catholic Church. I like how Odd Job is doing nothing because he doesn't have his hat. Oh, he's getting into the ring now. Great costume design. Where are you from? Hawaii? Japan? Put on a carpet. Kimono. Kimono. Carpet. What the fuck am I doing? 
I got you. That's Thank why you. we're a team. I love it. Oh my god, that's Brian Johnson from ACBC. So is that successful or unsuccessful? I mean, make I want one of these jackets so fucking badly. Seems pretty successful to me. <laughs> you know how windows work. You just touch them a bit. Make sure you laugh into the microphone as as peaking as possible. <laughs> they, that's how they know when a joke happens. <laughs> is when they've gone deaf. I mean, this would be weird if this is how you judo Jean LaBelle dies. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, some terrible stunt, stunt coordination there. He's happy to do it. He made $400 on this whole movie. I mean... But he also took a lot from the craft service table. You are going to sue them for me, Murphy. You are going to sue them for everything they've got. What? Oh, is that the truth? What you want to be is a good cop. I'm touch. The commissioner's touch, too. Yes, Cap. Oh, it's a, very a lot of touching going on at this place. Yeah, there is. is. You know what I'm talking about. And it's also no pants day at the precinct. By the, by the judge and the jury, and it's not to be administered by cops, cops in the bar in the back alley. We know all that. We've been through it a dozen times. Is this two different movies? <laughs> so that you bozos understood it. Because now Murphy Green's laid assault and battery charge on us for $10 million. Oh! You and I'd better go have a talk with Murphy Green. I think we should just go pick his butt. They're visitors because they're not police officers. Yeah. They had to okay. turn in their badge. Just I don't like those clips on my shirt. It feels like it's it doing something in the fat room with you. The publicity isn't doing your case any oh, it's, unless it's on a collar, that's okay. I like it on the collar. I put it on. Just put it in my pocket and see if you pass a show to them. Yes. Come on, you guys. You can pull out now. I mean, a quote she's never said to him. Yeah, I've never heard those words come from a pretty lady. They always just say, give me your load and then wink. <laughs> Sometimes not even sexual situations. I'm very jealous of both of their shorts. Both great shorts. They've made a comeback now. I love them. I love a high short. I mean, never in... This guy's worn that shirt a couple days in a row, by the way. That Sarkis shirt. As in it's been in other scenes? Yes, it has. We ought to think about it, Dave. Oh, he's also trying out a Lanny Poffo gimmick right here with the frisbee. <laughs> you guys want some ice cream? Uh, yeah, yeah. See if they got like uh, one of those drumstick things. Okay. I yeah, mean, to go along with the beer in our reg or yeah, real diet regimen. Real health nuts, these guys. I, rather wrestle than be a I feel like wrestling's really changed. Nope. You once told me that you haven't had bread in a decade, and these guys have had beer and ice cream. I'll do anything just to make time with her. Hey, I don't have to make time with her. She's already crazy in love with me. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what's the decision? We'll wrestle. Oh, you won't regret it. I've got some promotion lined up for you. Oh, no. I'm going to make you two the most infamous bad guys wrestling's ever seen. Come on. That's not how you eat an ice cream. That's so quick. <laughs> they're, right, they're swimming in their wrestling trunks. That is my favorite. Oh my god, all of their clothes are coordinated with the wrestling trunks. That's what I've always thought wrestlers should do. <laughs> Those are their wrestling trunks. No, the wrestling trunks were the full trouser. No, that was the full trouser without the full trouser underneath it. Oh, of course. That was the trunk, just the trunk part. I've always meant to ask, why do, they, why do you do that? I like to do it to hide some lines. Like, it's too weird, a whole bodysuit. It breaks it up. Okay. Yeah. That was her move. A music video. video. Oh my god, the rock and wrestling connection. Is that Cindy Lauper? Bad guys. I miss music videos from the 80s where it was literally do anything. <laughs> why didn't the Lord think of a music video? Yeah, also, why is he watching MTV? Why is a man with a monocle being like, oh, yes, let's make sure that we watch music television? Uh, well, there's no cable going on right here. That's not a cable TV. 
if you notice that. There's no cable box there. That's an even better point. So this is on broadcast television? Correct. In the middle of the day, they're just showing a music video starring Judo Jean LaBelle in an <laughs> S&M hat. <laughs> Also, I haven't seen the bad guys yet once. Oh, they're not in it. That was the... What the fuck is going on? Where does that spread come from? Yeah, and why is one of them just eating cabbage? There's the bad guy. Hey, I thought they were wearing masks. Man, they've updated the character. You have to evolve the character. I've told you this. <laughs> okay. What in the name of Christ? Do you think that was the real sound it made? Yeah. <laughs> it's also the sound his heart made when it realized he ate a bunch of broken glass. This is another thing, by the way, that I thought adults did, which is you just sat in a pool and there was phones by pools in California. Mumsy. It's all right. You can have your way. You just make sure we get two guys just as good and just as cheap. You got it? Promoters. Thank you. I always want those cheapos. Do you think that that's a legitimate promoter conversation? Because everything I know about wrestling, I found that wrestling promoters have been very scrupulous and... Um, scrupulous pip? They've been... <laughs> I'm so impressed with that reference. If you could explain it to me, I'd be... I'd, who is Scroobius Pip? He's the spoken word guy. Where did he get the name from? Oh, no clue. Don't you dumb balls listen to anything I tell you? I told you, bums, to quit wrestling. The DA is after your ass. Murphy Green is after you for 10 million. They're wearing the bad guy outfit, but they still have the little clip. Just because they're bad guys doesn't mean that they're not also visitors. We gotta eat, Cap. I don't know why. What? I don't know why you have to eat. It does not make sense. Yeah. Back to me and let me know what your decision is. In the meantime, I will try. Sir, the rule. I will try to keep the wolves at bay. Yes, sir. Here we go now. Yes, sir. You don't salute in the police, I'm pretty sure. Also, he did such a turnaround. I love it so much. I don't want to be a bad guy. I want to be a lifeguard. <laughs> Jinx by Miko. I don't want to be bad. I don't want any more of this. I'm sick of it. I just want to save lives. Come on, Davey, relax. I quit. Wait a minute. That's what he quits over? What are you talking about? There's too much money and prestige at stake here. Prestige here? Oh, come on. Hey, come on. Stop thinking of Captain Watkins all the time. What are you afraid of? I mean, I kiss. I the kiss. What is Gene LaBelle wearing? Oh my god, what is he? <laughs> oh, that was lovely stuff. What do you think of this? What do we think of what? More good news. How do you like this? Well, what is it? Oh, that damn Louis Constantine. He canceled our match with the Texas Rangers. Well, why? What for? Oh, I don't know. He says something about your being suspended cops. <gasps> I think he thinks it's going to ruin his reputation. Oh, Probably is. Like that. Hey, you happy now, Dave? Yeah, no Dave. <coughs> I don't give a damn about your damn reputation. Let me see that. Hmm? I smell a rat. Yeah. And I think the name of that rat is Lord Percy Batting. I think they're talking about rats Sounds in a wrestling like movie. Yeah, what are you going to do now? Yeah, Jackson? well, there's at least I'll two I can we'll see on do. screen. We'll go down there and wrestle. By the way, in all of the colloquialisms for women that fuck the people in the thing... Rats is the worst one. <laughs> you don't want a rat? Chuckle sluts? Um, or gag hags? Good. For comedians. Groupies for musicians. Rats <laughs> for wrestling. It's all like this again. Rat. This, this stadium seems a little more packed tonight. I'm gonna, and look at all those banners. Although the flags are repeated. Go fuck yourself, set designer. Man, the... Who's that? Hornswoggle? Oh my god, is that Hornswoggle? He's in everything. They just need to learn to check under the ring. Oh my god, no! Skip, skip, are you okay? 
Oh, skip. Oh, the fucking bad guy jacket's back again. What? What? Oh, no. Oh, he just went on top of his head. What is it about wrestling that they really like to make sure little people have spinal problems? Tanaka's falling asleep. <laughs> Literally. He didn't hit the ropes that well. I don't think he... I think they were LaBelle trained. Is that because LaBelle wouldn't go off the ropes very often? I just... They didn't hit him like they were... like They've been wrestling for years. Yeah, the, bad, you, the bad guys are, are being good guys. Though. I was about to bring this up. Yeah, they've really got they've done an old Steve Austin as they call it. <laughs> that seemed like he just a ripped out his throat. That seems like a murder. He just <laughs> ripped out his throat. He just did a MacGruber throat rip. What the fuck is he wearing? Is that the Lord? That's the Lord. That's Lord Babington. Baddington? I mean, is this now how we're getting the match? Of course. Promoters, man. No agreement to money. Falling asleep, asleep again. again. Tanaka is in a post-Korean barbecue haze. We've <laughs> all been there. They're not patriots. They're from Mon they're just like This is oh, taking a real yes. turn. Yes! Training montage. Venice Beach. I'm still a little confused. Oh, that was their stripper routine right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, how do you know we're from they're from Russia? They're drinking <laughs> Smirnoff. <laughs> and their shirts say USSR. <laughs> Listen, the day wrestling is accused of subtlety is the day I die. What is Judo Jean LaBelle wearing now? He's got some great outfits, huh? I love that shirt. There was no reason for that bump he just took. He's hiding behind Tanaka. Oh, listen to that fucking music. Oh, this is baby making music, baby. Ooh. Look at binoculars. Murphy Queen. <laughs> Murphy Please is a different way to say it. Yes, I did, Murphy. <laughs> Murphy, please. <laughs> oh, I like it. Um, do you think Chris Christopherson's going to get it in the end? And by that I mean have sex with the blonde guy? It's not a lot of weight. Oh, cigar burn. This is, uh, time to change the reels. Yep, there's, a, there's another one there. That's weird. That's you talking to your dick. You can use that. <laughs> That's their car. What? Voila. How'd you get it back? Oh, don't worry about it. It's yours, though. I'll buy it. I blew the guy at the tow yeah. dealership. Yeah. Yeah. They ran a train on me. <laughs> I can't have kids. <laughs> can that happen? Thanks, Jim. Like, so Any, much sex? Anything can happen. <laughs> okay. A friend of mine has twins now because he got his wife's pussy too wet and it undid birth control. I don't know if I believe it, but it's it's, good story. it's a great story. I think it just made a little boy real happy. I guarantee DC Comics did not approve the wearing <laughs> of that shirt. Look how hard he can't get those gloves off. He cannot get those gloves off. <laughs> <laughs> He's been trying for 12 minutes. Yeah. Are you impressed now? I finally got this glove off. I know a great little restaurant in Hollywood. I don't know what the food's like or anything. I just hear this really great. I thought maybe uh, maybe we could have dinner tonight. Well, sure, I'd love to go. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's really nice. All right, I'll, I'll pick you up a sip. This movie is so many genres. And also, <laughs> I assumed that the babe would end up with fucking... Uh, well, to be continued. No carb diet over there. Hey, we should get dinner around nine. <laughs> People eat dinner around nine. I was wondering if maybe tonight we could go out to dinner 
and talk strategy or something. Well, sure. Yeah, I think that'd be great. Um, let's say we'll meet at La Balisque at 7.30. <laughs> so she's going out with one at 7 and the other at 7.30? Uh, wasn't the other one at nine? No, I said that. Oh, I, you did say that. I figured. Beautiful. See? What a suit jacket. Oh, banging fucking attire, mate. Come this way. Oh, maybe they're meeting here. Maybe because he was picking her up at seven. They That's were actually getting there is. at 7.30. And she's making this. Uh... Or she's going to jerk him off under the table, get it done in 20 minutes, get him out of there, and then she'll have food with the other guy. How is there 27 minutes left in this movie? <laughs> All of the threads are... Champagne, no, please. here's what's going to happen. They're going to have a fight over her. They may not wrestle. Last minute, one of them will be in the ring. The other one will drive the truck in. Boom. Save him. End of the r- Her match. twin sister comes out. Her they twin sister come out. A one the last 10 mo- minutes of the movie is a very hardcore yet unchoreographed sex scene. At the strip, at the male strip club, on the backs of uh, Jean the LaBelle. Kremlin crushers. <laughs> well, Jean LaBelle just strokes it through some dirty sweatpants. You know, we, should, we should do this more often, I think. Oh, we should. Who gets this dressed up to talk strategy? I was gonna say she has to know this is a date now. See, like she know either she knows what she's doing. Or she can't play dumb. Like this is not a date. She looks gorgeous. What's he doing All here? right, easy, he Jordan Peterson. Did. Janice is my date. I don't know who that is. <laughs> oh, he murdered somebody, I think. <laughs> no, he's like a big sort of like men's rights activist guy. No. Yes. Now, wait a minute. Look, this is my fault, okay? I invited you both here. Tonight is going to be my treat. Okay, now sit down. Still doesn't answer who's in love with who. Yeah, great point, Colt. Hey, screenwriter, resolve a thread. How about that? That looks a lot like your friend Jesse is also doubling up as playing the matron. <laughs> you also love the term thread. It's a thing called screenwriting, my friend. You take one class and learn one phrase. Actually, I just read a book. <laughs> is it about saving a cat? No. <laughs> it's the idiot's guide to screenwriting. Okay. That come on wasn't synced up. Okay. Okay. Also, they wouldn't be able to afford Dom Perignon. To us. She's paid. Where does she get her money? She's a pro wrestling manager. <laughs> Who's paying for those banners outside? Great point. Promoters, man. Oh, the Olympic. Good afternoon, Lord Percy. Good afternoon, dear boy. Who's going to win the match? Fuck! Ask a silly question, get a silly answer. Do you know the bad guys haven't arrived yet? Oh, really? Mm, I'm not surprised. I always said those fellas were cowards. Yes, I said it once, I'll say it again. You've never said it once the entire movie. Stop hitting the frame, John. All right, I will. not surprised. Not surprised at all. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we didn't uh, pick up a little easy money today. Thank you very much. Thank you, fan. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Lord Percy. You heard it straight from the Lord's mouth. Is that Adam Sandler? It must have been. These guys look like real bad guys. Yeah, what bad men. Or astronauts. Yeah. Space Cowboys 2000. Space Cowboys, when they have sex, it's only missionary. Space Cowboys, they don't come, they shoot bullets in you. Space Cowboys, they don't vote, but when they do, it's for America. Already... uh Already unrealistic to LA, they would be in traffic. <laughs> Christopherson. <gasps> Fucking Christopherson strikes again. He's just waiting at that stop. Yeah. <laughs> Another great sign of the 80s movie of just people stood in the back of a flatbed. Have you ever done that? Yes, in the 90s I did. My friend Kip had a truck and we drove in it. I mean, what are you talking about that you're from Illinois and you had a friend named Kip? <laughs> Did you have another friend named Turbo? <laughs> no. Oh, uh, we knew a, a guy named John Urbaszewski who we called Urbo. <laughs> I'm going to take it. When Urbo was about to sleep with a girl, did he wink at her and go, 
Let's kick this into Urbo. I don't know. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Punch it in a truck, and that's he automatically went that faster. Does this truck have a nitro? And they're not going that fast. A nitro, like it's that video game. Yeah, yeah, that's all I can think of. Maybe throw the pipe. He was not scared of that gun. gun. Yeah, well, there are LAPD officers. True. I mean, Judo Jean LaBelle's wardrobe for this movie is top fucking notch. If you... I wonder if that's available for purchase, that type of suit, and should I wear it every night of the fringe at our show? Come to our show. Well, you've already seen... They've it's already kicked. Yeah, yeah. No need to put it Just a promo head. Throw the fucking pie. I don't know why I'm on the biker's side. Isn't he driving? No, he was in oh, he's he's a shotgun. shotgun. With a shotgun. Sorry, I've lived in another country for too long. I get confused on what side you're supposed to get in the cars. Oh, by the way, this is the same garage where um, in No Holds Barred, they tried to uh, rape that woman and then they all shit their pants. What's that smell? Jesus, those guys flew. Yeah. Is that the original GPS? Yeah. It's a blonde man. Turn here. Don't drive in water. In 30 feet. It's really lucky that all these warehouses were open and yet not staffed. Where do we go from here? It's a good point. Great point. Oh no, that's what derails them is they hit a box lightly. <laughs> With feathers in it. Yeah. Oh, Sure, my truck can go zero to eighty in one second, but fluff really fucks up the bumper. Oh, the match isn't gonna happen. No, I hope they haven't had an accident. Tell you, they're gonna have one if they don't show up. What? You Russian heroes are going to crush those American capitalistic pigs. Uh, yeah. That's if they haven't been unavoidably detained. What are we going to do, Parsi? They ain't showed up yet. I got 50,000 bucks in this goddamn bout, and somebody's going to pay for Promoters, it. Promoters, man. It ain't going to be me. There's 300 people out there. You got 50 grand in this? The tickets were exorbitantly <laughs> expensive. <laughs> The match was pre-reviewed by Dave Meltzer and given seven stars. I don't see how they're going to get out of this. That's a great point. Yeah, this is Judo Jean LaBelle. Judo Jean LaBelle is going to come in. How's he going to know where they are? Man, oh, the police. Coming at the sword. Thank you very much, Murphy. That's all we need. They're going up. They're going up. My head hurts. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but I'm a bad guy. That's a hell of a contraption. It's also clear they didn't have enough cameras to do another take, so they were like, "We're going up." Yep. Yeah, oh, uh, okay. Besides, we've been on to Murphy for a long time, and he's been working for Lord Percy. So you set us up as decoy? Hey, you set yourselves up. You wanted this crazy wrestling. I was trying to do it the easy way. Hey, we've missed our wrestling. You're man. the true bad guy, policeman. Oh, wow. Come on. Come on. They're gonna get a police escort. Did you hear that quote, by the way? We've missed our wrestling match. <laughs> I smell a Cole Cabana one hour's tea coming up. <laughs> It says we missed our wrestling match, and it's you with your big, like a big head. It's gonna have the bad guys logo on the back. Like oh you yeah! Oh boy! Oh boy! Are you guys in trouble? They don't show. We bought fifty thousand dollars in foam fingers. Yeah. No I'm the guy that invented the foam finger, and this is how I was launching my product. See how much money that guy? Yeah, I don't know if you saw that. The guy behind the foam fingers was counting so much money. No, I didn't see that. I don't have. 
I'm not that much of a carnival folk <laughs> man that I can't smell money with my those 50s? Was a there he is! I mean, that, if that's his only appearance. It is! We all forgot he was in this movie. Oh my god, I was too wrapped up in the threads of the movie. Hey. Hey. Holy shit, zero speaking lines. Kiss, all he does I is love, kiss a flag, and he made 16 grand for that. I love Sergeant Slaughter so much, just because he clearly looks like he just had a burger. <laughs> he stopped at an in and out on the way, treated himself, just giving the finger. Speaking of which, there's an in and out in Las Vegas. I'm going right now. I think the shirt said the bad guys are babes. I mean, again, I want, okay, I want that gray shirt, the gray jacket, bad guys look on the back, the bad guys are babes. Is that what it says? Yeah, the bad guys are babes. He's carrying the. She's Statue of Liberty and not dressed in green. God bless the costume department of this movie. You had one fucking job to do. Well, because the Russians had been. Still, so much left in this movie. I can't believe that they brought everything back and Sergeant Slaughter's in this still. But they've got 30 seconds. Did you check the hospital? Yes, I did. Did you know the police? Did? Of course I did. Wow, Judo G and the Bell really picked up a lot of acting on the set. Yeah. Get this tension away from me. Come on, bad guys. Yeah, bad guys. Save the day, bad, bad guys. guys. That's what so many countries say when America comes to help their country. Save the day, bag. Trying to be political. Didn't work. Oh, yes. Yeah. Synthesizer music. And true bad guys brought by the cops in, yeah. in the back of a police. Uh, cop. Yeah, but are somehow still with the police because they've paid them off. Again, how would they know to open the back of the arena? <laughs> Bet. And now there's cops running behind them too. Fuck yeah. My god, that was like a Triple H WrestleMania entrance. <laughs> only it only took an, a normal amount of time. It's okay, he's got $50,000 in this <laughs> Yeah, no, it's even crazy. He doesn't explain in what, like, I've spent $50,000 promoting it. I'll owe $50,000. Right, I'm guessing that it all costs $50,000 altogether. And this was the main event, so he just considers this like the match. I mean, I think we're just reading too much into the logic of the fake uh, promoter who doesn't actually probably. What a jacket! No old tea. Jesus, that guy's coming. <laughs> I mean, oh my god, that's um. Sergeant Slaughter, Jimmy Khan, James Khan. I've wrestled there. Yes, you have. I took a pee in the Starbucks three blocks away from it. That's as close as I've gotten. We're the, the same. We're the same. In many ways. Uh, you're a professional athlete, and I had a bit of a cry after a yoga class two days ago. <laughs> Very s the meditation part really unlocks some stuff in my soul. Oh, now you're okay Yeah, now you're on board? Just shoot the Russians. I know that's what you want to do. Bad guys, bad babes, as it says. Of course, this movie has as good grammar as you do. The bad guys, bad babes, babe, bad babe, 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 babe. Is that Robert Redford? That's an actual AWA referee. I think so. Oh my god, Vern just wanted to be part of showbiz. Thank God they didn't put Buck Zoom off in this movie. <laughs> it wouldn't, wouldn't have aged very well. No, it's, 
It weirdly has aged quite well for a wrestling, a low budget wrestling movie from the 80s. The two teams head for the corners of it's so trying to be Rocky, and I love it so much. The crushers are on top of the Patriots are You tell them, Joel Gertner. That's Joel Gertner, by the way. That was Yokozuna. She can't watch it? She's promoting wrestling for yeah. years. Yeah, but she loves them both. Surprise Vince didn't sign these two out there. I mean, he probably tried. He probably got upset because he probably thought this was going to be competition for No Hold Bar. Mm. They ripped off our script. It's the best that he's a set. A, you understand that Vince McMahon could collect a W, like a small WGA pension because of the movie No Holds Bar. He would be in the Writers Guild of America, technically speaking, unless he opted out. It was a great movie. It's the best. Did you notice that those girls all had weightlifting belts on? I did. I was about to actually bring up what kind of belts those are. What is the purpose of a weightlifting belt? You would know. You've lifted weights. Yeah, it braces your back. Oh, that's good. <gasps> How was that flying head scissors? It was good. It was on the wrong side, though. <laughs> I don't know what he just did off camera, everybody. I have no idea what he did. <laughs> I grabbed something. Your hands remained on the table. I was yawning. This movie is so exciting. I mean, it's also midnight. And I've been on the road for 12 years straight. What's he going to do now? Yeah, Skip, you tell him. This is getting fucking... It's getting pretty dicey. I smell a hot tag if I've ever smelled one before. The music has me going. Mm. I'm into it. Even though I just yawned two seconds ago. <laughs> hey man, you're, you, you can give and take with both hands. I trust you. Yeah, I'll shake the entire thing with my leg. Just trying to adjust so I don't unplug a wire. I do like the lights right above the ring, by the way. I know that's just a weird observation, but I just think it makes a big fight atmosphere. Yeah, I think it looks cool. Yeah. Their name is the Patriots, though? No, they're the bad guys. Call them the Patriots. I'm sure that this was shot out of order. Picking up something as well. Um, (laughs) Earn your money, (laughs) Slaughter. I mean, it's wh- who, which one to use the play by the guy and which one to use the color man? For fuck's sakes, pick a lane. Also, in a tag match, they don't like tagging. The ref is okay if they're all in at the same time. There's yeah. that hot tag. Referee. Oh, no, not an arm bar. It's an overhead wrist lock. Wait, he tagged. Did yeah, he, he not? Tagged. Oh, there we go. That's a hell of a move right there. Oh. I might start using that. Oh, Tanaka's getting in the ring, and Sergeant Slaughter's going to fight Tanaka. Prediction. It's a good prediction. I'd like to see it. And it looks like these bad boys are making a comeback. A bear hug? That was enough to do it. Yeah, the claw. Oh, it doesn't age well at all. Oh, no. <laughs> I love how he still has the name Professor, too. Oh, with his... Uh, Wire? No, it's his, his black... His oh, Sergeant Otters, he's getting in the ring. He just said he doesn't belong here, which... Again, a sentiment that hasn't... It. Yeah! Now nah, you're earning your money. God, I love Sergeant Slaughter. Just wore his camo pa- pajamas, by the way. That's just what he wears all the time. A, onesie, a camo onesie. You 
aren't smarter than Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, man. This guy loves getting tied up in the ropes all the weird ways. I'm not the eye gouge. Oh. Plastic chip. <gasps> and the Cobra Clutch, the dreaded. I don't like that the bad guys are the ones making this heroic, historic comeback. Or heroic. Well, they're now about to try and stab someone with a flag. So I feel like they're going to... Oh, I like that this is where Judo Jean LaBelle goes bananas. Does that impale a man? Yeah, he just tried to stab him through the stomach with a flag. With patriotism. I love how the cops have been watching this the whole time. I would love if a shot rang out right now. Go on, Judo. Oh, man. Look at him. He's oh. dying by the sword. Live by the sword, die by the flag. Does, do the girls get in now? <laughs> Their only move, by the way. No, they did the head scissory yeah, thing and the claw. Okay? Okay? Right this should Come be a John on. Wayne movie. This was originally pitched as a John Wayne movie, but John Wayne wanted to play all the parts, particularly um, the Asian guy, and they were like, absolutely not. We saw what happened with Genghis Khan. Whoa. It was before it's time. Yeah, it was. Over the announce desk. Over Dude, the top right rope plancha. Beast. And you hear the music kick in, the good the good guy music. Oh, I think we're really we're cruising for an award ceremony. The babes are loving it. Mm -hmm. oh, what's he up to? Why is he going? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Arrest him for literally no reason. <laughs> for walking back. Yeah. You're trespassing in this cage that's not ours. Move. This ring is huge, by the way. It's like a 29 foot by 29 foot. I bet it's amazing that you have facial awareness to be a robot. I Definitely a different ring than the original ones they're on. You can tell by the ropes also. They're like weird, thicky boys. That blows my... Like, I have no awareness of that. that Double amazing. pin! Move. Here we go. Oh, I can't believe the bad guys won. Uh, they are now. Oh, and the fans are coming in the ring. Oh, America. Oh, America. Oh, Sergeant Slaughter to really Fuck hammer yeah. home America. Fuck yeah, Sarge. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my what God. Is this? The balloons. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Miss Liberty. This was just his normal shtick that shows. What are they arresting him for? Walking backwards. Oh, okay. Jaywalking. <laughs> Very good. There you <laughs> Slaughter trying to take all the credit. He didn't win no fucking match. Um, who stopped the professor? Yeah, the From doing a calculation, which equaled in whoop ass. This movie was so many different movies. <laughs> Report to the station first thing in the morning. See you in the gym first thing in the morning. Hey, first thing they got their badges day. back. They still get to be wrestlers. I wish they broke the fourth wall just to look at the cameras. And it said, we want to be strippers. <laughs> Did they both fuck her? Yeah, we don't get that answer, that do we? That was Jean LaBelle. Of course it was. Terrible Ted McGurk I saw too. This comedian no. done, done anything? Yeah, am I in this? 
tiny Dutch Dutch man is who played Murphy Green. I love that we're getting Ooh. extras. Red Bastine is the TV announcer. He's a very famous wrestler. Yeah, he's a very famous announcer, a wrestler. Oh, Not, it's the actual music video. It's the whole music do video. Do you see that? Do you see that, Jesse Hernandez? Mondo Guerrero is a referee also. One of the Guerrero brothers. He's the oldest one, I believe. Trivia like that, which really led my high school years to being a banana. Okay, Alexei Smirnov is a famous Russian who was not a Russian. I did a story on him. Brad Rangans was a fucking AWA wrestler. Uh, Jack Armstrong. Chief J. Strongbow? Strongbow? I didn't see him. Who's the sod buster? Lothario. Okay, there's two. Ray Gideon. Kurt Henning was in this. No. Mr. Perfect. Kurt Henning. I imagine... Oh, we can see this. I imagine like in those first matches where it was like far shots, yeah. So there has to be some kind of AWA. Uh, well, thing you saw there was an AWA connection a few times. Yeah. So that's probably who was providing the wrestlers. That's a pretty crazy one that Mr. Perfect is in this. What a great poll! It's well worth the paper money that they gave us at our show to find out that piece of trivia. Yeah. Money well spent. Well done. Also, this song is a banger. <laughs> so, uh, what was your takeaway? It was way better than I thought it was, and it was also madness from start to finish. All right, like it, it flew. How did you feel? About it didn't. The- it wasn't a slow movie. No, it like flew by. We're- and that's something that we know about. Like the difference between now and the eighties is those eighties movies were pretty slow. Yeah. If you rewatch them. And uh, I was happy with that. It was it was fun. It was so dumb. <laughs> and Judo Jean LaBelle really made it for me. I was going to say, I think he was the sleeper. Yeah, he yeah. was absolutely the unpredictable X Factor. He was the chili in the dark chocolate that made it really work. I wonder why Judo Jean LaBelle never got like, a bigger Hollywood go. He probably quietly is doing very well as a... Like being a he stuntman is. and a stunt coordinator, yes, it's he's. one of those things where... He, I guarantee, can pick and choose his jobs. But I'm saying, like, he was obviously outgoing. I don't know why he, like, he would make a crazy, like, a great crazy grandpa and, like, a diehard or something. Completely, but it's also maybe one of those things where, okay, I'm on set for two days and I'll make as much as I'm going to make. Yeah, but we all want to be the stars, don't we? At a certain point, you also want to just be a rich guy with a gravelly voice. (laughs) Yeah. Like soul even, Man, there's Soul Man that was in there. I can't believe they afforded <laughs> I, an Isaac Hayes original. Do you think he got some money for that? Isaac Hayes did a couple of them. Look at that. Yeah. He did all of them. Bad guys. Bad guys. This girl's hot, too. Oh, yeah. 80s New Wave Punker. That is absolutely my kinker a dink dink dink. Which I, <laughs> I'm never repeating that phrase. Please don't. Oh, the band Hand Tools was in the. The band's called Precious Metal. What about Sabu? Paul Sabu, he produced it. (laughs) (laughs) Sabu's cousin. Oh Oh my god, the soundtrack's available on Casablanca Records. Casablanca um, became a prominent record company by signing what band? Tool. Kiss. Oh, that was close. (laughs) Closer than I should have been. Yeah, you are sadly closer than you should have been. Uh, Are we hoping that Iron Man's now going to come up on screen? (laughs) Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. Watch us watch grunts, but in slightly different clothes. But we'll still be here.